Pastor Jeff here with you again this week with, uh, with Cope Sue and Megan. Um, this week we're going to talk about if there's one exercise you can do at home that, that will incorporate almost everything you want to incorporate into an exercise, what would that be? That would be the squat. So why is the squat such a good exercise to do, Megan? Well, the squat's so good because it incorporates so many different muscle groups. It incorporates the core, the hip flexors, the quads, the hamstrings, and the calves. And it also helps with the knees and the hips. And uh, when we incorporate all of these uh, different muscle groups and do a squat, it helps with muscle strength and flexibility and also helps with the daily activities uh, like walking and standing and lifting and sitting. So it's a really great exercise and also really great in quarantine if you might not have uh, equipment at home. It's a great uh, body weight workout. Or maybe if you're looking at starting exercising and don't know a way to get moving, squats are a really good foundation. So uh, in this video, we're going to talk about squats, good techniques in a squat. And if you can't do a squat, we're talking about some stages to work up and then some stages after uh, how you can continue working with uh, squats and weights. OK, so when we're looking at the technique of a good squat, we're going to want to start with our feet planted firmly on the ground and our feet around shoulder width apart. We're going to want to engage our core because it's really important that it's not moving while we do uh, the squat. Most of the movement should be coming from the hips. And what we're going to be doing, we want to bring the hips back and down. So just like we're sitting in a chair, you're going to come down and up. When we come down, you want to come around 45 degrees or parallel to the floor, and we're going to try our best not to have our knees coming over our uh, toes and keeping that back straight, and we should be looking forward while we do this. You'll feel this in your glutes and in your hamstrings and your legs. Okay, so if you're not quite at the squat that we just showed and the technique for that, that is okay. There's a couple stages that we're going to talk about right now that can help build you to a full squat. So to start, you're going to be uh, sitting on the chair, but in any of these stages, you can have something right in front of you um, when we're doing it. This isn't uh, for a crutch or to put your full body weight on. All you're going to want to do while you're doing them is try to have your fingertips just to help out in case uh, you fall forward or you're scared of falling forward. So the first stage, we're going to start by sitting in the chair. And right from here, it's the same squat that we talked about uh, in the sense that you're using your uh, powering up from your heels, keeping your back straight. You're just starting in the chair. So you come up, and then we're going to go down, up, and down. So that's the same thing, but instead of uh, putting all the pressure on our muscles like we showed before, uh, we're going to be sitting down and putting our body weight on the chair uh, at the bottom of the squat. Now for the next stage, if you're looking to build even further, what you can do is uh, stay with the same chair. Pretty similar technique, except when you're coming down, you're just going to touch lightly and hover over the chair. There's a little bit of space in between the chair and my legs. So you're kind of there and come up. So you still have the support of the chair resting there, but you're using just a little bit more of your muscles to help complete that full squat. And then after doing that, you'll be able to progress to a full squat. Now, if you have done the chair squat and you have done the normal squat and you're looking to build into something else, the next couple stages, there's a couple of things you can do. If you have access to a barbell or a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can uh, have the weight. And for a kettlebell, you can do some squats like this, barbell squats. And uh, uh, dumbbells, you can do the same, maybe add some pushes in there as well. And those weights help incorporate the arms more and uh, stabilize the core even more than the normal squat would. And you can also progress to a jump squat. Same uh, technique as a normal squat, but when you're coming up, you're just jumping. It uh, uses more uh, leg muscles and the whole... Uh, body so you can do that and then you can also add some weight to the jump squat if you are looking to build even further So hope everybody enjoyed the demonstration of, uh, of the squat uh, The squat is a very powerful exercise. It burns lots of calories. It's something you can do at home um, Start with something simple and build yourself up uh, It's really good for your core and for your leg muscles it really keeps you active really helps with your walking and your sitting your standing and all your normal uh, day activities uh, if you have any questions or anything we talked about with the core stuff today and the squats, you can always email us at jgoalswithy at goalswithwells.com or you can 
talk to us on Facebook. Uh, if you have any questions or any other issues you want us to uh, talk to you about, you can always uh, send them to us, and we'll certainly research it and, and uh, see if we can put a, a video together for you. As always, I'm Dr. Jeff with Co-op Student Megan, and we've got you back.